Stop the killing, stop the hate. Stop the killing, stop the hate. Young man, are you Jewish? Are you Jewish? Yes, I am. Were you taught to hate other people? No, we're taught to love people, so shut up! So do you love the Palestinians? Yes, I do. Oh, you do? You love the Palestinians? Say it to the mic. Say, wait, no, say, no. say, say we, I love, love Palestinians. No, no, that's not, it's her mic, give it back to her. You say you, you obviously don't care about Palestinian life. You value no, Israeli life more over the life of life. What? 220 Palestinians have died. That's their fault. Adala, Adala has a list of 50, 50 racist laws on its website. Go so ahead. my Jewish religion says thou shalt not kill. 50 racist laws. I was, as a, as a Latino Jew, I was raised to appreciate Israel, and, and, and I do love Israel, but I have been concerned about the disproportionate response to violence in, in the country. Uh, you know, you, you're taught not to kill. Palestinians have civil rights as well that are not being recognized in the state of Israel. They have civil rights. There is, unfortunately, an apartheid state in Israel, and we are not recognizing the civil rights of Palestinians who share our destiny. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a single Jew or Christian in any surrounding Muslim nation that's around there that's on the government? My turn. My turn with the mic. One second. Hold on. And it, you call hey, Israel a part hey, I say, hey, that's, on, you, that's the rule. Mind. Take mine. You make the rule. I'll take it. I'll, See, this I'm is an Israeli trick. Always you make the rule and you break it. I'll give it to you when you're done. Wait, what would you call him? Is it the same? Oh, that's not your name? Oh, well. It doesn't matter. All right, well, the point is, is that there's no moral equivalent to Israel. Israel is the only nation that ever gave up land because people were forced to kill them. Why am I surprised? Just just for the sake of peace. Hey, and now give mic back. Why you want to continue to give up? What's the point of this? All right, my What's point of this? Okay, so answer answer regarding hey, the government. Hey, bro, give him so back the mic. So first of all, your question was, are there any surrounding countries in the area around Palestine and Israel that have uh, 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 Christians and Jewish, ma Jewish temple? No, the oldest no, Jewish no, temple, no, temple no, in Egypt is in Cairo. I've been there. The people that, that preserve that temple are wonderful Jews that live in peace in Cairo. There are many, many Jewish people living in peace in Egypt. There are many, many Christians living in peace. There are many, many Christians. As a matter of fact, the racist state of Israel also condemns poor Palestinian Christians to a horrible life. So it's not a Christian, Muslim, Jewish issue. It's a political issue about a state that wants to control the lives of individuals that it cannot control. I live in America. We had Jim Crow, slavery, segregation, every kind of inhumanity you can think of. And we obviously we had apartheid. And it's, it's not good. It's not a good thing for us to be each other's throats like this. I do appreciate being in America. I can have this opinion. But I don't like, I don't like a lot of evil that's in our world. We can do better than this. It, it disturbed me this morning seeing those four kids get killed. It disturbed me seeing those three Jewish kids get kidnapped and killed. We cannot continue this cycle of inhumanity towards each other. As a black man living in America, I understand what apartheid is. I understand what segregation is. I've been called all kind of N-words, even the Yiddish N-word. So we can get, we need to get past that. Ladies and gentlemen, the sign says it all. Thank you very much. What does the sign mean? I'm not familiar yeah, with that kind of a symbol. It's a party flag. You're not yeah. familiar with the symbol? No. no. This is the Gaston flag. It's an American Revolutionary War symbol. And you American oh. Revolutionary. I'm familiar with that terrorism. <laughs> yeah. I'm quite familiar with that terrorism. I know what it's like to be, you know, my people know what it's like to be lynched and castrated and burned. I got you. Tell her. Yeah. 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 Tell her. Miko Peled, whose grandfather was one of the founding fathers of Israel, whose father was the general in the 1967 war. Michael Miko Peled, he himself has called 
Israel a settler colonial state, because that's what it is. And we must recognize that for 67 years, Palestinians have been, have been ethnically cleansed. From 47, and even before, 47 until today, Palestinians have been and are continuously being ethnically cleansed. This is a racist state from 67, so 47 years ago, that Israel occupied the West Bank and Gaza, and Palestinians still live under brutal military occupation. Racist, brutal military Free occupation. Free Palestine. Free Palestine. Yeah. Yeah. Free Palestine. So when we're talking about apartheid, we have to draw we have to draw similarities to other historical circumstances. And in fact, uh, our friend raised a really good point about treatment of African refugees and African immigrants in in Israel. There are numerous inst recorded instances. This is reported in. Ha Haaretz, the most widely read English language Israeli newspaper. Haaretz reported that Ethiopian Jews were forcibly sterilized by Israel for years. Look it up. Jerusalem Post also reported it. Numerous uh, forums reported it. Reuters reported it. This is an absolute fact. Israel still ethnically cleanses Jews that it doesn't like. Ethnically cleanses Palestinians. This is happening right now. This is an absolute lie. I've never sterilized anyone. You're a fucking liar. No, get You're the fuck out of here, man. You're a liar. Get out of here, man. Pal get out of here. In, We're having a dialogue. In Operation Protective Edge, in the past nine days, 200, over 220 Palestinians have been murdered. 220. Over, over a thousand. Million Jews were dead in the Holocaust. Yes, it's horrible. Dude, you're, you're telling me. Dude, my parents. My, get away from me. My, my ancestors. My ancestors did not die for you to be able to exploit my that. My grandfather was a Holocaust survivor. My great grandfather was a Holocaust survivor. We are a Jewish voice for peace, bro. Same thing for the it's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting that people are using that to support the Holocaust on the Palestinians. It's disgusting, absolutely. We want Palestinians, it's very basic, we want Palestinians to have equal rights under law. We want the occupation that started 47 years ago to end. No, they don't. The Adala, the Israeli, Adala, the Israeli Human Rights Organization has on its website 50 racist laws against Palestinians. We, we call for equal rights for all Palestinians and the end of the Israeli occupation.